Alrighty, welcome to the day here. A lot of stuff on the agenda today. So I've got uh, three truckloads to move around. One is going to be 10 pallets of Amazon coming all in here to make those mystery boxes. Um, four big pallets for 600, four small pallets for 250. Two of the big pallets, um, one of them is sold already. The guy's coming today, 900 bucks, a few hundred on there. But really what that does is make one of the pallets, 300 is the way that I look at it. And then another guy is supposed to come see if he wants a pallet. And if he does, he wants it delivered. That will be 1200. So that, uh, the load, the eight pallets is costing me 3,400 and there's potentially 2,100 in sales off two big pallets. So that's not too shabby. And then I've also got 24 pallets of tile to move. Um, the load I sold to my distributor for, or to one of my distributors for 6,000 and it's costing me 2,500. And the funny thing is, is that, uh, I sold it for pretty much a dollar a foot and it cost me like a little less than half that. And he wants me to stock it here in my shop and sell it. So he's going to pay a buck for it. And then only when it sells, I'll give him two bucks for it and I'll be selling it for five, six, seven, depending on the color. So that's not a bad, not a bad little deal there. And, uh, it's like seven. I've got an hour before I pick up the big truck and that place is a half an hour away. So I was just stopping in here to make sure everything is clear. The plan is to put two pallets right here. I've moved what was along the back wall. So two pallets should fit right there if they're not too bulgy. And uh, the other six is going to have to fit along here. I've got my mother-in-law coming. I won't be done today until about 1.32. My mother-in-law is coming at 12 to open the store. My employee is coming today to start making uh, mystery boxes. I've got her all set up with tons of boxes. Her workstation is going to be right here. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. Just, yeah, I wanted to make sure that everything was good and ready to go so that's about it and we're on our way now clearway car and truck rentals may not be open yet when you arrive in 800 meters okay got the truck it was hectic getting it it's hectic driving it on the highway i put my foot to the floor and it goes 90 kilometers an hour 60 miles an hour so i can only imagine what it's like going to be like full of tile on the hills but Anyways, on the way to get the first load of tile, then it'll be the Amazon. Then the last load of tile, I'm gonna leave in this thing while I go to my store. And then I'll drop it off to Buddy afterwards because his daughter's got some like dental graduation type thing. But uh, it's 8.20, we're rolling, so. This place gets the fatter one with the smaller bills. Over 2005. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Yeah, this is heavy, huh? Yeah, this is the one, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I won't be using the I have a forklift where I'm going for him to take it off. I just I gotta do it in two trips. I don't have time for more, so I, I just don't uh, I gotta climb some pretty big hills in this truck, so okay. Yeah. They can feel that, like, but that, that's 2,500 pounds. Man, that's cannot. Well, this one without. looks like it's almost 16 or 19. Well, this one is a 1875. Yeah, yeah, so 18. This is a full pile up. Because it's a natural stone, it's a heavier. Right. You know? Yeah. Okay. That will be perfect. Hopefully, it's perfect. I have to go up Royal Ave in New West. So. Yeah, well, actually, I will. Suggestion. Uh, 
You don't have a loading bar, right? A which? The loading bar that you saw? No, I don't. Why? You think that might fall over? Well, in case there's some driver at home, it's not a war before. Eh? Vietnam. Aritzia Small. A lot of boxes. So total how much? Uh, two nine. I think it gave me that. Two uh, four nine five. There's not a thing in the world more annoying than this. It's not showing up well on camera, but putting two thousand pounds over that is a bit much. Okay, we strapped. Okay, that went well. I'm one minute away from Amazon pallets now. Oh, so light. Go look for 600. Okay, on the way to my store. Alrighty, those are unloaded. It was pouring rain and my mother-in-law was there so I didn't film anything, but I'm going to grab this last load of tile and then heading right back to the store. It looks so not as bad on camera. Spend six grand and then eat a couple of these. Here, unloading this tile. It's such premium product. Like this, nine times out of 10 when you see it, it's cement that's been casted and painted. Like this is the real deal stone blend. Same with all of this real marble, like just gorgeous. Hell of a lot of work though. Look at this, about to go bring the truck back, kind of stopping at gas. I've, I've driven like more than a quarter tank in this thing, man. It usually costs me about 60 bucks when it's like one eighth down. So I'm looking at like probably 150 bucks to fill this beast. Okay. So peaceful pulling in here and shutting off the truck. Like there's cars ripping by behind me, but it sounds like, sounds like bliss. God. Okay, so I'm finally back in here. Everything is done for the day. That freezer I was supposed to move is um, getting done. Ah, uh, getting done tomorrow instead. Oh, sorry about that. Um, Christmas stuff. Some boxes she built. I'm completely stocked up at the front with boxes built. And uh, just give me a little. And then whatever stacked here is also built. So three, six, nine, twelve, and then probably another five or six at the front. Or more, because we sold like. So my plan right now is to clean this up, break down the Gaylord, put the cardboard in the trash, sort out a little bit of this stuff to see what we've actually got here. Like these pallets are good. See, this is it has the tag on it but if clothing was in a smaller pallet like one of these there's a good chance that uh, that's got no tag these pallets do have some decent stuff in them here and there but a lot of junk these 
tall ones are really dense. And then here's another crappy one. There is a bunch of them. This brand, there's one there. There's another something there. Furniture risers. No, oh, those aren't good. What the hell is a furniture riser? Just something you put under your non slip mat. Okay, maybe those are good like that. manual it's a USB 2.0 switch 2 port whatever that is <laughs> let's see what else we can find so that's the problem with these cheaper $250 pallets is there's quite a bit of like couch covers and sheets that have I guess it's the returns more than these. There's returns in here too, but it's mostly just brand new. Let's see what this is. Oh my god, I opened this earlier. It's awesome. Look at this mug. Perfect condition, brand new. It's like uh, just, you know, plastic cast or whatever that material is, but it has like aluminum inside to make a pretty sweet coffee cup. Looks like a plastic welding gun. <laughs> Probably worth something. Into a mystery box. Shu Dong Shi Tano. I don't know what that means. Utopia bedding flannel fleece blanket. Yeah, it looks good. Teeth cleaner. Looks like a bunch of packs. A hose, it feels like. I don't know. It's been opened, whatever that is, like a drain thing. These are usually something good. Three pack gold rings. Let's crack it open and see. There's a few in here. So that's what it is. I don't know if the rings are part of the necklace, but some something like that. These are always pretty heavy and like that weird little jewelry stuff. Grad 2022. 2022. That's kind of sweet. Dip powder nail kit. You know, I'm selling this stuff in totally the wrong way. I've been like hyping myself up on the fact that I'm making a bunch, but there's so much more to be made. I found these um, like cutlery sets, brand new, pretty nice. And I was like, hey, if you see these to the employee, um, put them aside. And she's like, uh, okay. And it turns out, like, probably 10 of the boxes she made today have that set in it. And that's easy on Facebook, like, 25, 30 bucks. So off two of them, I'd make 50 bucks. Or off one box that has it in it and packed with all this other stuff. Packed with this stuff. Like... <laughs> There's just so much more to be made, but how do I find the time or space? Like, this is what I'm working with here. 1,200 square feet. And then I've got about 4,000 where my tile is, but that's like on private property. And then my other storage is 280 feet. Like, I've got all this square footage and all this money going out, but it's just like terribly broken up. Also pulled this thing out. I checked it. Brand new. Everything. I mean, it's, you know, some brand nobody's ever heard of probably, but it's nice. That's probably 40 bucks, regardless of the brand. And that'll go into a box currently. That's how I've been doing it. Not holding anything back besides, like, maybe five or six things from a big pallet. And that's kind of it. 
Maybe I should start using that. Collapsible cane. Yeah, kids' glasses. My daughter could probably use those. Indoor LED hydroponics system. That red tape is a bad indication. And so on, high voltage string. I'm assuming that's like a LED headlights, it looks like two packs and then a bag of something. Binder. I don't know if, how, if I'm filming this right, I'm kind of just looking around. What this is. Looks like I probably could have just got rid of the tag. Uh, makeup uh, case for lipstick. Let's dig into one of these. Maybe I'll stop this clip and then record a new one so it's easier. Yeah, and I'll set up the ladder. It just feels dense, man. It feels really, really full. <laughs> These big ones are already cut right in, so let's just have a quick look in there and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. <sighs> Here we are. So, saw a few of these 30 pack foam sheets. Pair of shoes. Uh, cover for uh, outdoor TV set, 50 inch. It's heavy, what's this about? Um, hanger rack, two pack black. <laughs> hanger rack, two pack black. Some more sheets. There's a bunch of these. Like what even is that, a vice? Table vice. Huh? And there's, I saw a few here. I just pulled another one. Look, even more of this. Yeah, this one was super heavy in Christmas. Most of those boxes came out of this single pallet. A lot of Christmas. What is that? It feels like a lot. 150 envelopes. Look at that. Oh, Christmas, Halloween, Christmas. A bunch of these under there. Under that. Heavy duty drop in cover. Like, that seems really niche. <laughs> Not like a regular barbecue cover. This one came from the post office. Uh, selfie light, it looks like. And then up in this one, you know, heat sets. Look at these. Curtain pack. At least it's a two pack, it's not like a random one pack. Some diffuser type thing. This is intriguing. Sound good. Uh, waterfall wide faucet. Okay, so faucet I will put aside. <coughs> okay, question. There's a lot of those too. She's put already put a lot in the boxes. No really telling me what they are. I've never heard of it. Uh, for steam deck. So it's like a plastic case for whatever that is and there's a bunch what else another faucet what the world bathroom faucet so that's good you know there's if you could find a way to display those i mean i sell a lot of bathroom and kitchen tile and behind here somewhere, like back up in there, there's uh, a lot of faucets there too. Right, a little bit more fishing and then, uh, and then that'll be that. <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff 
food. I can't imagine that thing's cheap. You know, it's a lot of like... That's what makes me want to just make mystery... Excuse me, mystery boxes out of it. Like, I could potentially just maybe take like 10 or 20 things from each palette and just keep building it up until I have like 100 or 200 items that are worth like 50 or 60 bucks. But in the meantime, I just don't feel like uh, in my ads for the mystery boxes, I say that we don't sort the stuff. Like, we take cell phone cases and Halloween and Christmas decorations out, but everything else goes in. And, uh, you know, somebody opening their $25 box and seeing a brand new sheet set or some other, like, random thing that they're like, whoa, you know, their business buying, like, five boxes a week is worth more to me than them buying, like, one thing for 50 bucks, maybe once a month. And uh, this guy, I messaged him earlier. He had court all day. He said he's coming tomorrow. So, yeah, of those two pallets I was talking about earlier, the $900 one, Buddy couldn't make it. And the $1,200 delivered one, Buddy came in, and this was his pallet. It was closed and stacked to the top, and uh, he said he wanted mediums, which these pallets are not. These pallets are like, I don't know what, how I would describe these. The items are small, and there's lots And, like, the value is just so low. Like, I mean, yeah, this might scan for, like, 50 or 60 bucks, but is it really worth, like, more than 10 bucks? <laughs> Better late than never, but he's supposed to be here for that in a sec. Um, I just finished editing this video, so I figured I would add this little clip at the end just to show you where we're at. All of this stuff is processed. There might be something on the screen, on the lens, making it seem all washed out, but... Out of everything that I bought, those eight pallets, there's one big and one small still at the front. Besides that, it's all been made into boxes and, sheesh, I don't know, probably 25 to 30. How you doing? All right, someone walked in, caught me talking to myself. So, anyways, this is where we're at. Totes are all filled with product. Six boxes here. God only knows how many freaking boxes are here. Pretty much a full pallet here. Another full small pallet at the front. And then as far as the three big ones that weren't for that. Oh, and also in this video, right, I was talking about that guy coming for that $1,200 pallet. He said he wanted mediums, so he didn't take it. And then as we processed it, it turned out to be like 55% Christmas. Like the entirety of what's in my car right now is Christmas.